Those kids probably won't be so happy, Brittany, when when the rain starts washing away some of the snow out there. Yeah, and even today we saw a decent amount of snow start to melt away with those temperatures staying above freezing for the whole day today and even still pretty warm out there. But yeah, that rain that's on the way that unfortunately is going to chip away at that snow as well. If we take a look outside right now, here's that look towards Newport. You really can't see too much of anything. We're seeing some pretty dense fog kind of settle across the area, continue to roll into our region, and that's going to be a concern overnight tonight. Here's a look at some of those numbers. You're down to about 0.8 for Smithfield and Providence. Even worse down towards uh, Newport, New Bedford, Taunton looking at about 0.3 miles of visibility for right now. So if you're heading out the door later this evening or even early tomorrow morning, give yourself some extra time and take it a little bit slower because that visibility is going to be a problem. Threat tracker overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Really not too bad. Uh, we are going to start to see some of the rain showers moving in for your Thursday afternoon, but the really impactful weather that's going to be starting Friday morning when we see temperatures begin to plummet and we'll start to see that rain transition into a wintry mix and then some freezing rain. So here's looking at that setup. You can see that cold front continuing to push further to the east, closer towards our area. You can see a little bit of that wintry mix rain transitioning into snow for Ohio. That's all going to be moving closer to our area as we look forward to uh, late Thursday and into Friday. Back home right now, not too bad. Dense cloud coverage and that'll be sticking around for overnight tonight and even tomorrow will still be on the cloudy side, but temperatures will still be pretty mild overall. Live radar saw a couple of showers out there earlier this afternoon, but really not too bad out there. We're start, uh, starting to see just a little bit of some drizzle and some of those low clouds, but mostly dry. Temperatures right now still pretty mild. We're back into the upper 30s for most of the area, 37 for Westerly, Smithfield and Newport. Providence looking at 36 degrees, a little bit cooler out towards Taunton. They're down to about 34, but still that's well above average for this time of year. Normal daytime high is in the low 30s. So today that we saw in the 40s and overnight tonight that we're staying in the 30s, that's kind of a nice treat for our February as it's a little bit warmer than what we're used to. Overall for the rest of the evening, we'll be staying mostly cloudy. We're sticking with that 20% chance of some rain for overnight tonight just because of that quick little drizzle that you're going to be seeing as you see some of those uh, clouds and a little bit of the fog kind of set up over the region. What we're tracking is we do have winter storm watches and warnings stretching all the way from Texas back up to through the northeast upstate New York and into Maine. Closer to home, we're dealing with that winter storm watch for the majority of Massachusetts, Southeast Mass, Rhode Island, Connecticut, not included, but we're still going to feel the impact. So what we're expecting, light rain showers and fog for tomorrow morning. As we head into the afternoon, we'll start to see the rain increase. And then overnight, Thursday into Friday, that's when we see things transition into sleet and ice. Slick travel will be a concern. Good news is by the end of the day, Friday, we're starting to see the precipitation start to fall off. However, with those temperatures staying so cold out there, we're going to stay very icy all the way through the majority of the weekend. Lots of sunshine on the way for Saturday and Sunday, but staying below freezing. So do take it easy on those roads by Monday. Hopefully we'll get back up above that 30 to 2 degree mark.